guys so today's video I am going to be reviewing and doing like the little first impressions on the new models own cheat day collection so they sent me the products in a PR package this week which I am very grateful for any PR package that I receive so yeah there's three different things in the collection and it's all kind of based around like like sweet treats donuts lollies that type of thing so I'm going to test out their eyeshadow palette, their highlighter palette, and one of their lip glazes. So let's start out with the highlighter palette. It's called the Cheek Glaze Highlighter Palette. comes in this box, and their packaging is all pretty standard. It's all usually like white plastic. Um, I don't really mind it. It's nothing special, but you know. So you have three different shades. You have one that's a pink with a gold shift. You have a super bright gold, which reminds me of the Fenty, the Fenty Beauty Gold Highlighter. I can't remember what it's called, but that's what it reminds me of. And then this one, which is more like a champagne-y, pinkish kind of shade. This palette retails for $24.95, and it says... For the ultimate confection complexion, the Cheek Glaze Highlight Palette will create an iridescent radiance and the softest shimmer finish. It's a lightweight formula enriched with ultra-fine luminescent pearls that reflect the light, making it your new go-to highlighter palette. So it sounds like it's going to be like more of a natural highlight. I do adore that really foiled highlight from Models Own that I have in... I believe it's called Golden Sands. It's like metallic though. These look more like just a soft shimmer. Yeah, they're not crazy pigmented and they are quite duochrome. But they are very pretty. So I think the most wearable one is obviously this pinky shade here. The top one, once it's swatched, it does have a lot more purple reflex to it, if you can see. So I think I'm going to try out... I think I'm going to try this shade here, which is called Dolce, Dolce, I'm not sure how to pronounce it. So I'm just using a Sigma FO3 high cheekbone highlighter brush. Whoa. Okay, it's very, like, very pink. I didn't expect it to be quite that. It's very pretty. It's just very pink, like... If you were to stand in the light, it's definitely going to look pink. They are definitely super pigmented though. Mm, I mean, it's pretty, but it's, it's pink. Like, there's no other way to describe it. It's literally just like neon bright pink. I'm going to try mixing a tiny bit of that gold shade in. I don't know if this is going to make it look weird. I think the gold will be a lot prettier when I do have some soft tan on. I have none on at the moment, so I'm very, very pale. I don't know. First impressions, I like it. I just feel like it's not for every day. It's definitely more like festival or editorial or, you know, a specific makeup look type of highlighter palette. Like, I don't think I would reach for this every day. I mean, they are pretty. I'm going to wait and see how they come up on camera. Because they might look a little bit less pink. I'm kind of on the fence about that one. Alright, onto the eyeshadow palette. Unfortunately, one of the shades broke in the mail. So, that's disappointing. But, what can you do? This is what it looks like here. It's called the Cheat Day Eyeshadow Palette. And the idea is that they look like little donut type things. So you actually get two shades in each pan. You get a tiny little blob of one shade and then you get the ring around it, which is another shade. And there's a mixture of mattes and shimmers. And I mean, some of them are like foiled. Some of them are just like a pearly finish by the looks of it. This retails for $29.95, which is kind of pricey for a drugstore, but we'll wait and see how it performs. So yeah, I guess I'm just going to do like a pretty simple kind of eye look, a very standard one. It's not, not going to be anything new or out of this world, but it's more so to test the eyeshadows and see how they perform. 
So let's just go ahead and start. blends nicely and it does have really pretty colors in it but they're not as pigmented as I would like and I don't know I just feel like it's kind of gimmicky the way they've got the double shadows I wish they would just make smaller pans and make the same shades but you know make them separate if that makes sense I just feel like it'd be more practical I don't know if that it's worth $30 for an eyeshadow palette from the drugstore. Yeah, I'm not completely sold on this. I mean, as I said, it created a pretty eye look, but do I think that it's worth it and you need it? No. Unfortunately, not. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and pop some eyeliner, mascara, and maybe some lashes on if I can be bothered, and then I'll come back and we will do the lips. Finish my eyes. This eyelash did not want to grow up cooperate cooperate at all it's driving me insane but anyway now on to the lip glazes so they have brought out three different shades i actually really like the packaging of these they're like a frosted matte packaging down here and then the top is just white glossy so we have the shades meringue which is like a purpley mauve shade Creme Brulee, which is more more of a nudie bronze shift. And then Frosting, which is much more of an orangey bronze. So I think I'm going to give the shade Creme Brulee a go. I've never even swatched these, so I have no idea what they're going to be like. Oh, they're very shiny. Wow. Okay, so that's how that looks. It's very, very metallic. Like, incredibly metallic. I mean, I actually don't mind it, though. It's different. Like, I never wear things like this. But I don't mind it as much as I thought I would. I feel a little bit like a disco ball because I've got on, like, pink highlighter. And now my lips look very metallic. It feels very moussey and... Oh my god, it's all dry. I expected these to stay like glossy and kind of sticky-ish, but no, these are matte as matte can be, but they're still shimmery. It's so weird. So these retail at $12.95. It says they're a long-lasting metallic matte liquid lipstick that will take your lip game to the next level. Lightweight, full coverage formulation, dries down quickly and is comfortable on the lips all day or night. And completely kiss proof too. I actually don't mind those at all. And I think these are actually a really good price. $12.95 is not bad at all. Definitely affordable. So if you're into the whole metallic lip trend type thing that's going on, then I would say to definitely check these, these ones out. So that's everything from the entire collection. Overall, I really like the highlighter palette. I do think it's a really, really pretty you know, sheen on the skin. It's not glittery. It's not too over the top. Um, the only thing, I kind of wish the shades were a little bit more wearable, but that's the whole point of this collection, I guess. The eyeshadow palette, I would personally pass on. Just, I just don't feel like it's anything 
overly special. As I said before, it's pretty, but it's not like must have. And then these lip things, I am surprised how much I actually do like these. Normally I'm not a fan of metallic type things on my lips, but I actually do really like this. So surprisingly, I give that a thumbs up. Anyway, that's going to be it for this video. I hope it was helpful and I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you in my next one. Bye!